Training a bird dog is no easy task. Repetition and discipline are the main factors. Clay Earl of the Southwest Ontario Spaniel Club has a diverse background and is one of the top trainers in North America. So most people came to the Springer Spaniel game off of a hunting heritage. The dogs and fox primary purpose is to seek and find game, which is what most hunters are interested in. If you divide the dogs into sort of two groups, uh, there's this group of dogs that will go and seek and find game and those that retrieve it. A Spaniel's first and foremost job is to seek and find game and then to retrieve it. So primarily, um, a field trial for Springer Spaniels is about the closest thing you're going to get to natural hunting. And what you'll see today when you're out in the field are dogs questing for game and retrieving game, but they're doing it in a more perfect manner. And that's in fact how a Spaniel field trial is judged. It's a put and take game where live game is put out, the dogs are asked to find the game, and then they're asked to be under perfect control and retrieve upon command. So we'll see lots of examples today of dogs working, working in brace, where two dogs will actually work in tandem, will honor each other's work. And that's in fact the same way that I would hunt my dogs when I take them to Montana or to out to a preserve or hunt any kind of a wild upland bird. The group had a good mix of Springer Spaniels and Cocker Spaniels that in all honesty are some of the best field dogs in North America. So this is one of the tests for a master hunter and Brian is going to complete a blind retrieve. A bird has been shot and the dog doesn't know where the bird is. The dog will be sent out and have to find the bird. It's not like a non-slip retriever blind in that the bird actually could be a crippled bird. The dog would have to hit the area and hunt for the bird. So goal is to get the dog in the area as quickly as possible and then let the dog pick up the bird just like in a real live hunting situation. The history of field trials for Springer Spaniels in North America is really a Canadian history. Yidor Chevry in Avondale Kennels out of Winnipeg was the winningest uh, field trial performer of all time and in fact is the founder of modern field trials. Uh, the first field trial in North America was actually held outside of Winnipeg in 1922. And so when we think of field trials and when we think of what we're doing with these dogs, we're training them for a more perfect manner. And with the number of national champions and high point dogs that we've been involved with, all of these dogs have been hunted in rough shooting situations with wild birds. So probably one of the most important things if you're going to acquire a dog for hunting purposes is to look for a reputable breeder. You can find reputable breeders on the internet and the first questions that you should have is what's the health of the dogs that they're breeding? Have they done uh, hip certifications and eye certifications on those dogs. Secondly, you should look for field blood and in the pedigree of the dog you should look for titles like National Field Trial Champion or Canadian Field Trial Champion. FC would be the, the abbreviation for a field champion in the USA. So you're looking for field bred blood that's healthy. The dog should be dogs that have natural prey driven. They should have retrieving desire. When you go to look at a puppy and pick one out of a litter, if at eight or nine weeks of age the dog is not retrieving, then that's probably not going to be a pup that you're going to be interested in. A spaniel by nature is a dog that will, at a very young age, start to run the wind and quest for game. Willie! Here! Hop! You want to ensure that you get one, that when you look Drop. at the lineage of the dog, it has that off switch Pop. that'll make it a great family pet. All hunters out there would really realize that if you're out hunting wild birds, that noise is going to, after opening day, be a cue to the birds to take off. You slam the door of your truck as you're getting out and approaching that piece of cover, every bird's going to run out the end and fly away on you. So a well-trained dog is one and a well-trained Springer Spaniel that should actually keep track of you. And while we have a whistle like this and we have whistle commands that we use, we try to run the dogs as quietly as possible to not disturb game and provide that shooting opportunity that we're looking for. So a more perfect manner in terms of a field trial dog is really just one that will keep better track of you, is better trained, and will quest for game and produce the game within gun range in a quiet,
manner from the handler. And finally, we look for in our field trial dogs, dogs with bold flushes. Those dogs are the ones that are going to have the prey drive that is going to be necessary to pursue wild birds. They'll face cover boldly and they'll be attentive to the trained qualities of a dog. So natural abilities are something that you're going to look for in a puppy. Then you want a dog that will be compatible with your situation. It should have a good off switch and be a gentleman shooting dog. The kind of dog you can bring in the house should you want and it'll lay down at your feet. If you see the parents of those dogs, you'll know that by looking at them whether that dog fits your lifestyle. The trained abilities can be brought out in the dog and there are lots of good places and resources for finding out about general obedience and training. But that's a starting point. Then you need to introduce the dog properly to the gun, properly to game, and then properly to control while questing. And clubs like the clubs you'll see across the country can help you with that. So this example of Springer Spaniels, you can see that there's a black and white dog here. This is actually the 2017 National Amateur Field Trial Champion, Pheasant Feathers Jack of Tasman. And you can see that there's liver and whites here and that there are different sizes and different shapes to the dog. The dog on the center, the bigger male, is a Satan style of Springer Spaniel. That's Field Trial Champion Bellwinds Willie. And next to him is one of his daughters, a little bit more of an English bred dog. Uh, that dog's the 2015 Canadian High Point Open dog. And then here's a true British dog, Irish dog, actually imported from Ireland. Uh, Karina's uh, on the smaller size, but you'll see a real spaniel action from some of these smaller imported dogs. Each of these dogs is a good representative of the breed, and if you're looking for a field bred dog, these are the kinds of dogs you should look for. Get out! What a great day, watching as these dogs worked in the field in such terrible conditions was very impressive. Equally impressive was the dedication and hard work the guys put into running a club and helping with each other's dogs. A special thanks goes out to Frank Wiseman for hosting the event and giving the guys a place to warm up and share the day's activities over a warm drink and a hot meal.